Hello, my name is Laura Ross. I'm a yoga teacher living and working in Nairn, north of Scotland. I've converted my bedroom into a yoga studio so that I can continue to teach yoga, but I do it online now. I've got a great advantage of being able to teach in this space. I've got great light coming from my Velux window. When the sun's too bright, I can use my Velux blackout blind to give me some shade. And when I'm doing a really energetic practice, so we're getting a little bit too warm, I can open my Velux window to get great ventilation. So today I'm going to take you through a vinyasa class. We're going to begin on our back. So have nearby perhaps yoga blocks if you have them. If you don't have them, a couple of chunky hardback books like big dictionaries or cookbooks are great for a substitute. So once you have laid down, take a moment or two to lengthen the spine. Bring the hands by your sides and extend the legs out or keep the soles of the feet on the ground and the knees can gently drop together in constructive rest pose. So just deciding legs straight, legs bent, what feels best. And then allow yourself to settle. Let the eyes soften and close if that feels comfortable. If it doesn't, you can just keep a soft focus with the eyes open. Let your breath become your focus. Follow the inhale and follow the exhale. Noticing any gentle movement in the body as you breathe, how that feels. Are there any other sensations that arise as you inhale? And do they change as you exhale? Perhaps feelings or emotions arise as you inhale. And maybe they change as you exhale. So you can either keep your arms as they are, or perhaps take one hand to the tummy, one hand to the chest. And just rest them down. Bring a little bit more awareness to the movement in the torso as you breathe. So you might notice maybe the chest moves as you inhale and exhale. Maybe it's more around the tummy. We're going to begin an abdominal breath. So this breath draws the air down into the very bottom of the lungs. Very good for our bodies for our minds, for the nervous system. On your next inhale, draw the breath in through the nostrils, inflate the tummy like a balloon. Exhaling through the nostrils, deflate the tummy. Inhale through the nostrils, inflate the tummy. Exhale through the nostrils, deflate the tummy. And then as you stay with this inhalation and exhalation, the inflation and deflation of the belly. Explore the breath. Can you fill up just a little bit more? Feel the stretch, the expansion across the tummy. And then can you empty the breath out a little bit more, or perhaps feel a little contraction across the abdomen. Find an evenness in the length of the inhale and the length of the exhale. See if you can find a stillness in the chest so it's not moving as you breathe. All the movement comes in and out of the tummy. And as you breathe in this way, notice how the rest of the body is feeling. Are there tensions that aren't required? 
See if you can soften them. Allowing the breath to soothe you, to relax you. And we'll take one more breath here. Fill the body up with as much air as you can. This time, open the mouth and sigh it out. Extend the arms overhead and point the toes in the opposite direction. So taking a full body stretch as if you're waking for the first time today. And then gently draw the right knee in towards the chest, placing the hands either around the back of the thigh or around the shin. You might prefer to keep your eyes softly closed or you might want to open them now. As you draw this right knee in, just beginning to let the inner thigh open. Let's draw that right knee slightly to the side so it comes along towards the right armpit. So right knee towards right armpit. Lovely. Take another breath here. And then gently release the right leg. We'll swap sides. Left leg pulling it in. And then again, taking that left leg slightly to the left, so towards the left armpit, just beginning to open out through the hamstring, the hip, to the back of the thigh, the inner thigh, just noticing how it feels on this side. And then gently release the left leg. Good. Hug the rib cage down towards the floor, hug the belly button in. Flex the feet so the toes point up towards the sky and then really engage the legs. So imagine you're standing. Bring the hands by your side. So Supta Tadasana, reclined mountain pose. We will use this later on. So just finding some feedback from the floor. Notice the posture, the points of contact that you have, the back of the head, the back of the shoulders, the lower backs, perhaps slightly lifted away from the floor in its natural curve. You can feel a grounding through the sacrum at the base of the spine, the sit bone, the tailbone. The legs are engaged, perhaps even the heels are just floating depending on the size of the calf muscles. Really engaging through the quadriceps at the front of the thighs. And then from here, keeping the body exactly as it is, inhale and take the arms up overhead. So keeping the elbows straight, the hands might be wider or closer towards each other. If the hands don't reach the ground, don't worry. We want to keep the rib cage pulling down. If the hands reach the ground and the rib cage floats up, then draw the rib cage back down and just let the arms go to wherever they can. Thumbs will point down towards the floor, extending the fingertips and the palms turn towards each other. Take another breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, good. Take your right foot and bring the right foot somewhere to the either the inner calf, maybe a little bit higher towards the inner thigh. And then gently let that right knee open to the side, keeping the body exactly as it is so we don't tilt off to the right. The left side of the hip is still grounding. Inhale, exhale. So we're now in recline tree pose, inhale. Exhale, draw that right knee back in towards the centre, release it out, Tadasana. Bend the left knee and again take it to maybe the inner calf or the inner thigh and let the knee open to the side, but again, keep the right hip grounding, body level, hips drawn in. Inhale here, exhale, inhale. Exhale, good job. Gently extend, gently extend that left leg and place it back down. Bring the arms back down by the sides. Good. So taking your blocks or your books, whatever you have, now going to really engage into the right glute muscle. So take that right leg again into your tree pose. Extend the knee out to the side. So you might have to adjust the height of your book or your block. We're going to push that knee down or the outer thigh down into your block your book, whatever you have, and just feel the right glute muscle, the bum muscle, start to engage. 
You can just check in that both hips are level, so you can check with the hands. Drawing the belly button in, left legs engaged, toes are pointing to the sky. Right heel or inner arch of the foot is in the inner leg. And then again, keep squeezing that right knee down. Let's take the arms up overhead, inhale. Exhale, good. Take the arms back down. Take the right knee in and extend it out. Same on the left side. Left knee bent. Take your block or your book, whatever you have, to the outer left knee. Place the foot to the calf or maybe the upper thigh, the inside of that thigh. And then again, push the knee down into your block or your book, extending the right toes to the sky. So you're finding that engagement in the right leg. Squeeze the left bum muscle, so glute muscle engaged. And again, you might want to take the arms up overhead, recline to tree pose. Breathing here. Lovely. Take your arms back down, draw that right leg, sorry, left leg back in and extend the left leg out. Take a breath here. And then bending both knees, draw them in towards the chest, perhaps take a little rock side to side. And your options here, you could roll over to one side and come up, or you could take a little rock forward and back, maybe a few times along the spine, just gently massaging it along the floor. And then we're going to spin ourselves around. So you can come onto all fours, spread the fingers out, wrists are directly underneath your shoulders, knees are directly under the hips. Take a couple of rounds of cat cow your spine, just immobilize the spine, inhale, gaze up, taking up. Exhale, gaze down, tail go down. Really moving through the spine as much as you feel you can today. So if there's sticky spots, you just work with them. We all have tight spots, it is normal. So meeting those tight spots with care and compassion rather than getting frustrated, it's part of being human. Take one more round in each direction. Lovely, and then we're gonna come back to our neutral spine. So the gaze will be between the hands onto the mat. The knees are still under the hips, the hands are still under the shoulders. The crown of the head lengthens forward and the tailbone lengthens back, so a flat tabletop back. Draw the belly button in and pull the hip bones towards each other. Keep both elbows straight and extend your right leg out behind you. So keeping the right toes pointing down, so not out to the side. Keep the right hip in line with the left hip, so it's again not a dog peeing up a lamppost. We want to keep the right hip in line. Draw the belly button in, find your focus on your mat and extend your left arm. So right leg and left arm. Inhale here. Exhale, draw the elbow and the knee in towards each other. Arch the back, scoop the belly button in. Inhale, re-extend, opposite directions. Exhale, pull in, squeeze the tummy. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull and squeeze. Inhale, extend. And then exhale, knee and hand down. Same on the left side. First of all, draw the belly in. Left leg extends out. Again, keeping the left hip bone in line with the right hip bone. Extend the right arm on your inhale. As you exhale, knee and elbow come towards each other. Squeeze the tummy. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, extend. Last one, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, extend. Gently hand and knee come back down. Take a breath. Good job. So we're going to take the big toes to touch, send the hips back towards the heels and extend the arms forward for extended child pose. So just stretching out from here. Good. On your next inhale, gently come up. We're going to come back into tabletop. This time we tuck the toes, spread the fingers, roll the shoulders away from the ears and turn the creases of the elbows forwards. So this point, 
where we would normally give blood, we point that forward. So squeeze the elbows towards each other, wrap the triceps around the back, so we're pushing backwards. Tucking the, the toes under, extend the hips towards the sky, so the knees lift, chest pushes back towards the thighs, lift through the sit bones and perhaps begin to straighten the legs. You might take one knee bend and then the other knee bend just to walk your dog. So from here, right leg extends to the sky. So find stillness. Right leg extends to the sky. As we exhale, pull that right knee in towards the chest. Bring the shoulders over the wrist plank position. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bring the right knee across to the left elbow, plank position. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, plank position. Inhale, extend to the sky. Exhale, float it down. Left side, inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee to the center. Plank position, shoulders over wrist. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale to the right elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot to the floor. Gently begin to walk the feet towards the hands. You can bend the knees as much as you like, coming into forward fold, Uttanasana. Let go of the head, maybe fold the arms, just finding your releasing forward fold. And then on your next inhale, very gently with a bend in the knee, roll the spine up one vertebrae at a time, releasing as you come to the top with the arms by your side. Good. So just taking a few breaths here. Noticing the soles of the feet. Can you find more evenness between the left and right side? Perhaps that means you bring the feet closer or perhaps you take them slightly wider. Lift up the kneecaps, remembering that Sutta Tadasana pose lying on our mats. So they engage through the legs, the tailbones drawn down, hug, the rib cage in, the belly in. Shoulders are drawn back and down, arms by the sides. Tadasana mountain pose. Keep a focus in front of you, a drishti. We're gonna run through a sun salutation A. On your inhale, sweep the arms up towards the sky, perhaps gaze up, palms maybe touch. Exhale, hinging from the hips, swan dive forwards. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, draw the hands to the shins, flatten the back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant the hands and step back to your plank position. Shoulders over wrists, legs engaged, draw the belly in. Inhale here, spread the shoulder blades. As you exhale, gently take the knees down. Scoop the elbows in towards each other, bending them as you lower to the floor, Chaturanga Dandasana. Roll the shoulders back and down. Pressing the chest forward, lifting up, cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, push through the elbows, and then find yourself back into down dog. Inhale onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, bend the knees and gaze forwards. You can step or walk to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise to the sky as you reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, second round. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant hands, step back, plank position. Option here, you could come back to the knees for Chaturanga, or you could stay on the toes. Drawing the belly button in, bend the elbows as you bring the body gently to the floor. Point the toes, squeeze the shoulder blades together and gently roll up, cobra, bhujangasana. Exhale, draw the belly button in, pull back, down dog. Inhale, onto the balls of the feet, exhale, bend the knees. Your choice, step, walk or perhaps jump to the front of the mat. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Third round. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant hands. Your choice to step, walk, or perhaps float. Chaturanga, knees or toes. Roll open cobra, maybe onto the tops of the feet and the hands for up dog. Exhale, draw the belly button in, pull the hips back, down dog. Take three breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Your choice. Step, walk, or float to the front. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Fan the arms and inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Taking a few breaths into Dasana, release the arms by your side. Perhaps even closing the eyes and tuning into those new sensations, maybe a little heat. Some new energy, some new awareness. Lovely. We're gonna run through a dancing warrior. So we're going to bend the knees, sweep the arms, chair pose, go on spine check, you can see all ten toes. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, running through your vinyasa, so step or jump back, chaturanga, knees or toes, roll open cobra, perhaps up dog. Exhale, draw back to your down dog. So we're going to add in some movements here. On your next inhale, right leg reaches to the sky, keep the hips square. As you exhale, pull that right knee forward, shoulders over wrist, and then bring your right foot to your right thumb. Plant it down, back heel grounds down. As you inhale, rise up, right knees over right ankle, warrior one. The left foot's at a slight angle, the outer edge grounds down. You can adjust the distance, you could be closer or wider to make sure that both hips can point forwards and the arms extend up towards the sky. Inhale here. Exhale. We're going to open to warrior two. So again, right hand comes forward, left hand comes back, and you might need to shuffle the feet a little wider. Right knee goes over right ankle and extend the arms with energy. Right hand turns to the sky as you inhale, reverse warrior. Left hand reaches to the left leg and right arm up and back. As you exhale, side angle, right elbow to right knee. Roll the left arm open to the sky so that left armpit rolls back and down. Take another two breaths here, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, next inhale, warrior two, arms extend. Exhale, cartwheel hands down, step back, plank position. Your choice knees or toes, or maybe just take a child pose for a few moments of rest. Chaturanga, roll open cobra, maybe up dog. Exhale, draw back, down dog. Breathing in, breathing in. Left side, inhale, left leg to the sky, hips stay square. Exhale, pull the left knee forward, plank position, left foot next to left thumb, help it there if you like. Right foot grounds down, hips square to the front as you inhale, warrior one. Taking a couple of breaths here, adjusting as you need, right grounding through the right outer edge of the right foot. Left heel firmly planting down, left knee over left ankle. Inhale. As you exhale, open to warrior two. So this time, left hand forward, right hand back. Maybe going wider with your strike. Inhale. Exhale. Left hand reaches to the sky. Reverse your warrior. Left arm reaches up. 
roll the chest towards the sky. Inhale. As you exhale, left elbow to left knee, side angle. Pull the right, right arm by the side of the ear. Keeping that left knee directly over the left ankle. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, good. Inhale, warrior two, arms extend. As you exhale, cartwheel the hands to the floor. Step up, plank position. Your choice means toes or take a child pose. Chaturanga, roll open, cobra or up dog. Exhale, pull back, down dog. And then again, we'll take three breaths, inhale. Exhale, ground through the hands. Inhale. Exhale, lift the sit bones. Inhale. Exhale, ground through the heels. Inhale, onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, bend knees, gaze forward. Your choice, step, walk or float to the front. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, sweep the arms, chair pose. Stand tall, keep the arms up, inhale. We're going to come into tree pose. I'm just going to turn around so you can see where we're going. We're going to ground through the right foot, so I will mirror you. Ground your right foot. Take your left knee, left hand, and take the left knee into the left hand. Options here. You might want to stay here and work on the balance. Or you might want to open the left knee to the side. You may find that left foot comfortably goes to your inner calf. Maybe it goes to the inseam of your thigh. Wherever it goes to, make sure it's not pressing onto the knee, so not onto the side of the knee, either above or below. Once you've found your tree, extend the left arm back up, hugging the hip points towards each other, draw the belly button in, and then imagine you've got that block that we used on the floor behind your left knee. So you're pushing that left knee back, engaging the left glute, but keeping the right hip and left hip aligned. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, embracing the wobbles. Release the left leg. So again, you could take that left knee, guide it in and place it down. Left arm reaches back up, right arm comes down. Sweep the right knee up, options to stay here working on the balance. Perhaps guide the right knee open. Maybe the right foot goes to the inner calf. Maybe you guide it up to the inseam of your left thigh. Draw the belly button in. Take that imaginary block behind your right knee and push into that right knee. So you're engaging your right glute. Keep the left hip in line with the right. Re-extend the right, right arm up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more breath, inhale, exhale. The right arm comes back down. Guide the knee in, slowly release it to the floor. Left arm comes down and breathe. Close the eyes if that feels comfortable and just take some moments to check in, to find the breath. To observe any new sensations in your awareness, perhaps a feeling, an emotion. Just noticing whatever is going on, taking the time to tune in. And then on your next inhale, gently blink the eyes open, sweep the arms to the sky. As we exhale, forward fold, plant the hands and walk yourself back to a down dog briefly. Gently bringing the knees down and then take the feet to the side so we can come to sit. Lovely. So we're just going to take a nice little forward fold from here. Keep the right leg straight for now. Bend the left knee and bring the left foot somewhere to the inside of the right leg. So it's like tree legs, but we're sitting. So extending the right toes towards the sky, left foot to the inner thigh, maybe the inner calf somewhere that feels comfortable. Roll the shoulders back and down. And you might want to stay here sitting tall with the fingertips right behind you, just to give you a bit more length through the spine. You might find that you want to fold yourself forward. So maybe use the hands behind you. 
maybe you bring the hands forwards. Keep lengthening up through the chest rather than curling down and closing off through the front body. So lift up, draw the chest forwards. Begin to walk the hands forward. Maybe you find your calf, your ankle, your foot. Maybe you use a belt or a strap to take around the foot to give you a little bit of grounding and security. Again, lift up through the chest, inhale. And as you exhale, perhaps fold a little deeper. Relax in the shoulders and the arms. The aim is not to reach the toes. It's what you discover about your body on the way down. Take another breath. And then gently inhale, rise back up. Take that left leg and place it over the right leg. Right arm reaches up to the sky and exhale as you take the right elbow around your left knee. The left arm sweeps behind, lift up through the spine, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, good job. Untwist. Re extend the left leg and we swap sides. So, right foot comes to the inside of the left leg somewhere that feels comfortable. And again, you might sit tall, lengthening through the spine. You might stay here. You might begin to edge forwards. Maybe the hands come forwards. Maybe you hold on to the shin, the calf, somewhere that you find space. So, we're not closing up, we're lifting up. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, perhaps begin to fold a little deeper, maybe finding the foot. You could use a belt. I'm taking another couple of breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. And then very gently inhale, rise back up. Lovely. Taking this right leg and guiding it over the left leg. Left toes are still engaged. Left arm reaches up to the sky and sweep the left elbow around the right knee, twisting towards the thigh. Right hand reaches behind, lift up through the spine, Lord of the Fish's pose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, roll back to center. Release your right leg. Scoot down your mat so you've got plenty of space behind you to lie back. Taking a couple of breaths here, just letting the body settle. So you might prefer to have legs bent, you might prefer to have legs straight. Let the palms turn up to the sky or perhaps rest the hands on the tummy. Allow yourselves to Take this time to be still. Shavasana, our final relaxation. Let the breath be soft and unforced. Let all the benefits of your practice be absorbed. Taking this time to recover, to rejuvenate. So you can move back out to the rest of your day, feeling more alive, more energized. Let any tensions melt. Encourage your mind to be quiet and still by following your breath. Soft inhales and soft exhales. Gently beginning to deepen the breath, perhaps wiggle the fingers and the toes. You might want to stretch the body, taking a full body stretch, or maybe you prefer to curl into a ball. Just moving to wherever you feel is natural, listening to your body. 
And then when you're ready, gently releasing the knees or bending them if they're straight. Taking the right arm by your side of your ear and gently roll to the right side body. You can use your arm as a pillow. Just taking a moment here. And then very gently roll yourself up to any seated position. Take a moment or two, the eyes softly closing. Grind the sit bones, lengthen the spine. And take this opportunity to thank your body, mind and soul for taking this time out of life to nourish and care, to energize and strengthen. And to take this feeling of yoga back out to the rest of your day. Take a last deep breath, inhale. Let's let it go, exhale. Bring hands to heart center, rub the palms together. Take the palms over your eyes. Blink the eyes open. Get the energy in the hands, pour it over your head, spread it around your body, draw it back to your heart center. Namaste.